Hi, boys and girls. Let's do a close read of this book, Goods and Services. This is close read number one. Today we're going to look at some important vocabulary that will help you understand this unit about goods and services. Don't forget, you need a buddy. Let's get started. What are goods? Did you know that goods can be things like a car or treats that you buy at the store? Yes, even healthy food are goods. Games are goods. Electronics like your iPad are goods. Can you think of another good? Tell your partner. You're right, toys are goods. Clothes are goods. Great job. Goods are stuff you buy or stuff you sell. That's how I remember it. Goods are stuff. What are services? Services are things like the dentist. A handyman provides a service by fixing things for you. People who wash your car are providing a service. Even your babysitter is providing a service. The chef that cooks your food at fast food restaurants or restaurants or even the cafeteria provides a service. What are other services you can think of? Turn and tell your partner. Did you say a teacher provides a service? I'm providing a service for you right now by teaching you. And police officers provide a service too. Services are jobs you pay for or jobs you get paid to do. That's how I remember a service. It's a job. Let's read this text again. Producers. Goods and services are sold by producers. Farmers sell the vegetables they grow. Mechanics are producers when they sell the service of fixing cars. Kids can also be producers. Tim sells a service when he delivers newspapers. He can also sell the cookies he baked. Let's look at the word producers. Producers make or sell goods and services. What service does this boy produce? Can you find it in the text? Point to it and show your partner. You're right, it's right here. He delivers newspapers. He also can sell the cookies he baked. Let's reread this section called consumers. Anyone who buys and uses goods and services is a consumer. Consumers choose what goods and services they buy. Jenna is a consumer. She uses her money to buy a new bike. Let's look at the word consumer. Consumers buy goods or services. What are these consumers buying? Can you point to it in the picture? What about in the text? Did you find it? You're right, she's buying a new bike. Let's reread this text. Joe is a producer. Joe sells clothes and toys he doesn't use anymore. By selling these goods, Joe is a producer. He earns income that he can spend on other goods and services. Point to this consumer in this picture. Did you point to this guy right here? He's the consumer. Point to the producer. Who is the producer? That's right, Joe is the producer. How are producers and consumers connected? 
Tell your partner. How are producers and consumers connected? Don't forget to pause this to talk about it. Did you say that the consumer here, he needs the producer so he can buy goods or services? And the producer, he needs a consumer so that he can make money, so he can sell his goods and services. Great job. Let's reread this section. Earning income. Producers earn money or income. As a producer, Mary sells candy in her shop to earn money. Then she uses her income to buy goods and services from others. Mary is a consumer when she buys meat from the market. Let's look at the word income. Income is money that someone earns. What is the woman using her income for? Can you find it in the picture? Can you point to it in the text? What is the woman using her income for? You're right, right here. She's buying meat from the market. Remember this picture? Remember Joe? How is Joe earning income? Pause this and tell your partner. You're right. Joe is earning income by selling toys and goods he doesn't need anymore. How could you, what could you do to earn income? Pause this and tell your partner what you could do to earn income. You're right. You could do a lemonade stand. You could have a garage sale like Joe. You could walk your neighbor's dog or help clean up their yard. Let's reread this text. Joe is a consumer. As a consumer, Joe makes choices about his income. He saves part of his money for camp next summer. He buys some school supplies he needs. Then he has money left to buy a book he wants. What goods and services do you buy? What is Joe going to do with the money he earned at his yard sale? Can you find it in the text? Point to it and show your partner. You're right. He's going to use part of his money for camp next summer. He's also going to buy some school supplies he needs. And then with the money he has left over, he's going to get a book he wants. Great job. Here's your exit ticket. We've learned some super important words today. Let's check your understanding of the words we learned with this matching activity. You could take a picture of it. Maybe your teacher has it printed for you as an exit ticket. Or maybe they send it to you on Seesaw. You're going to match the important words to what they mean. Remember, this is producer, consumer, income, goods, and services. Draw a line from the dot to what it means. Does it mean money you earn? Someone who buys goods and services? Work that is done for other people? Someone who sells goods or services? Or real things a person can buy and use? You did such a great job today. I hope you enjoyed learning about these important words.